الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا نحن نحيي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين صدق الله العظيم This is ayah number 12 of Surah Yasin Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says Inna nahnu nuhyi al-mawta Certainly only we revive, give life to the dead When a person leaves this world Then we have this alam dunya Then the person goes into the state of barzakh And then thereafter akhirat At the time when the trumpet is blown for the second time Then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala will revive the dead now if we follow the sequence of the surah at the very beginning Allah tabarak wa ta'ala spoke about the Quran Sharif thereafter Allah ta'ala spoke about and testified on a qasam to the nubuwwat of our Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam the maqsad of the nubuwwat and that is to give the people appropriate warnings in an appropriate way and then Allah ta'ala spoke about the consequences of disbelief and Allah Ta'ala spoke about the reward of bringing Iman. Now Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in this ayat speaks about Qiyamat. That it is only Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala that has the power to bring the dead back to life. Not only is Qiyamat being spoken about, but again from the way Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala speaks, Inna is emphasis, Nahnu, it is only us. Nuhyil Mauta and that shows again the Kudrat and the power and the might of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is nobody else that can bring anyone back to life after a person leaves this world forget that when life is leaving a person when the ruh and the soul is leaving a person we can have the whole world around that person we can have all the technology all the science all the medicine everything available but there is no one that can give one second more life to any individual when Allah wa ta'ala has decreed to take away that life of the person the second aspect of the ayat wa naktubu ma qaddamu wa atharahum here Allah wa ta'ala changes the mode of the discussion normally Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about amal Allah Ta'ala speaks about actions, righteous and pious actions. But here Allah Ta'ala says, وَنَكْتُبُ And we record and we write مَا قَدَّمُوا What they had sent forth. Again, understand this in the context of our daily recital. There is a refreshing and rejuvenation of our intention that we carry out the deed. But what happens to that deed? That deed is sent forth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And that deed is recorded Not only recorded in the other ayats of the Quran Sharif We will see those deeds on the day of Qiyamah They will be there, they will be present in front of the eyes of the doer And hence here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this very very important lesson That those deeds don't stay here in this world Those deeds don't just diminish it doesn't just evaporate uh, in, in, in air, but it is then sent forth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is written down. If it is a good deed and it is done with ikhlas, then obviously there will be a reward for that. If it is an ill or evil deed, Allah ta'ala save us, then it will be written and that person will see it on the day of Qiyamah and there will be a consequence. Again here Allah Ta'ala says, وَنَكْتُبُ مَا قَدَّمُوا وَآثَارَهُمْ What he had left behind. Athar actually refers to the effects. It refers to the footsteps of a person. The person walks forward, but he leaves a footprint behind. That is in actual fact Athar. And here Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is giving us a very clear indication that one are the deeds that we will carry out that we send forth to Allah Rabbul Izzat, then there are those deeds that we leave behind. The deeds that we leave behind will be the legacy that we have created in this world. The good deeds that we have left behind 
others follow it comes in the hadith a large variety of different deeds allah tabarak wa taala speaks about a person that leaves pious offspring that will make dua for that individual now that becomes a legacy for the person somebody bought a quran a mushaf and that person gave it to someone to recite or he made it waqaf to the masjid he's left the world but people still recite from that quran then that is a legacy that the person has left behind somebody contributed donated or built a masjid that is a legacy digging a well the, those are all legacies the knowledge that somebody disseminates and imparts to others people practice upon that so here again there is a reminder for us that what we send forth that we should be concerned about what quality it is and also be quite aware of the fact that we will leave this world but what we leave behind us is also of relevance and absolute and great importance wa kull shay'in ahsaynahu fi imam mubin and then allah tbarak wa taala says and everything we have written down and everything is in the clear manifest register or the manifest book one book is the book of our deeds that whatever we carry out is written and the other is in the lawh mahfuz where allah tbarak wa taala has written out the taqdeer and the preordainment of everything all of that is very clear and all of that will stand on the day of qiyama hence in this ayat allah tbarak wa taala reminds us about the very important aspect we will leave this world and will be resurrected in conclusion maulana shabir rahmat uthmani rahimahumullah a great commentator of the quran has said we should not ignore the fact that if allah taala gives life to the dead and allah taala resurrects the dead then obviously a dead heart a heart that is soaked in kufr a heart that is soaked in the disobedience of allah tbarak wa taala allah can revive that heart and allah taala can give that person hidayat and allah taala can hold that hand and allah tbarak wa taala can guide that individual may allah taala give us the tawfiq subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka